Right. Today we're making Zuppa Toscana, and the first thing we want to get going here is our mild Italian sausage. I got a, just a little bit over a pound here is all. We're going to cook that until it's completely brown and ready to go. Okay, it's as easy as that. Now, I like to put a little color on it, but uh, before I add it to the uh, soup, I like to strain it. You don't want all this grease in there, so make sure you do that next. Okay, I've got that all strained, and I've thrown it on a paper plate here because it's easier to just throw into the pot. Now, all I did is I got uh, you know, about a quart and a half of uh, chicken uh, stock going on here, and that's going to be my soup base, okay? Um, it's real simple from here. I'm going to just add uh, about two cloves worth of, of raw minced garlic. This is just a teaspoon there. Throw that in there. Let's get the onion. This is a whole onion. Not real large, about a medium sized onion. Um, two russet potatoes, and I've left the skins on them for uh, color, look, and nutrients. And then, uh, of course, the Italian sausage. We'll put that right in. And last but not least, clear over here behind me, is the kale. And that's about two cups worth of kale. I'll go ahead and put that down the side there. Now that's it as far as the veggies go, but also we're going to put a cup of cream, and this is optional, but I love it, some bacon bits. I'm going to go ahead and give that a good stir, and then I'm going to season it a bit. Okay, there we've got a good stir on, very incorporated. Now, as far as the seasoning goes, you don't need to attack this with any salt. Leave the salt out because the uh, stock will already be flavored enough as well as adding that sausage. You add salt at this point, you're going to overpower it and you're going to kill it. But we're going to add some pepper. And uh, this is optional. You don't have to do this, but I like to add some Italian seasoning, which has uh, several different ingredients, thyme, sage, majoram, rosemary, uh, what's the fifth one I'm not remembering, anyway, doesn't matter, I like to mix that up there a little bit, and uh, let this sit here on the stove for about 20 minutes here, so those potatoes soften up. Now what you do is you get it to a, a rolling boil again, with all those ingredients in there, because that uh, heavy whipping cream I put in there kind of cold shocks it, plus all the other ingredients, you know. So you got to get the temperature back up. And then we're going to take it back down to a simmer, which I'm doing right now. I'm just in here on the side. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, those onions will season this and flavor it up real good. And the potatoes, as soon as they get soft, we're going to serve it up here. Looking good. All right, let's take a look, see what we got here. Yeah, that looks good. Even the kale softened up a bit. Perfect. That's good for serving. We're going to go ahead and go with that. I've just prepared a plate here. Put a couple pieces of uh, thinly sliced French bread. We're going to go ahead and scoop out a, a good ladle's worth here. Dump it right in there. There you have it. Zupa Toscana right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen.